is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with another two in one aew unmatched collection review on the unmatched collection series number one miro and dr Britt baker very excited to get these man i feel like Britt baker may be the best women's figure that jazz wears in aew has made to date we get the aew version of rusev over here with miro and i'm very excited to get into it man very crazy to be getting these figures in hand i feel like it's the old walmart days where i'd walk in and see other talent from wwe in TNA packaging and things like that. Just gives me super nostalgia feels with these AEW figures. But here's the packaging man, Miro and Dr. Britt Baker. Very excited for both of these. Can't wait to dive in and crack them open, see what they're all about. As far as their packaging, we did cover Darby and Kenny yesterday, guys, but there's an image of both the talents there. On the side, you do get the silver Britt Baker and Miro. If you guys didn't know a difference in the in the Unrivaled collection and this, it's pretty much just the packaging, you know, a different series to get some more retail shelf space. We get some silver foil at the top with the blue backing AEW logo there three and four for Miro and Britt Baker on the back you get an image of Miro there and Dr. Britt Baker there rest of the figures in the wave AEW logo on that side again an image of the talent on the front and that pretty much breaks down our packaging guys if you'd like to pre-order these or grab them I don't think they're in stock but you can pre-order these at ringside collectibles use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when you shop over there get in on all the SDCC pre-orders as well as your AEW unrivaled and unmatched collection reviews so definitely go get in on all that guys but i can't wait any longer man i gotta crack open miro and dr Britt baker so let's go ahead and do so so here is Miro and Britt Baker out of the packaging, guys. I, I'm actually kind of impressed with both of these things. We'll dive into that. Both of them do have their have their problems, though, which we are going to get into. You guys know that I cut it straight down the middle. I don't care what logo you got, what company made you, Brad. You're going to get an honest opinion here. I don't care if it's wrestling figures or wrestling itself. I'm going to give you my own honest thoughts and opinions on these figures, the talent on the TV, you know, how the shows go. You, you I, ho I hope that you guys realize that. We're not pulling punches, Bradley. But here is Miro and Britt Baker, man. I was excited for both of these i've been waiting on a brit baker you know it kind of became a meme around the community even in just wrestling in general how you know she she kept teasing jeremy about there being like 80 cody's and zero brit bakers and all of these different things it became a huge inside joke amongst everybody which was hilarious but now her figure is finally here and i can't wait to dive into it she also has a chase variant in the pittsburgh steelers gear that i can't wait to get because i am in fact a pittsburgh steelers fan so that'll be really exciting if i can track that down but my freaking track record with chase figures isn't the greatest but it's gonna change one day brad but anyways guys let's shut the hell up and dive into Britt baker's accessories and Britt baker and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at miro's accessories and miro himself so for Britt baker's accessories guys you do get the rubber jacket and two interchangeable hands so for the jacket right here you guys will see it has a nice sculpt going on it's got the bb on the front right there you got the tooth logos right here nice silver gray color got some nice black paneling going around i like how that kind of looks like a tooth on the side there and that kind of looks like a tooth there and then you have the tooth logo there and the bb kind of like the medicine symbol or the medical symbol there. Very nice. Of course, I would love to see it in cloth form, but not a huge deal. I will say the rubber is a bit more stiff than the Darby Allen. I feel like the Darby Allen jacket was more flimsy, so I don't know. It was kind of difficult getting off. Not like like really, really hard, but it was a little bit difficult. But there's the jacket. It looks good and everything like that. I probably won't, won't use it unless I hack the sleeves off, but it's cool to have anyway, and you could even like hack that off and have it like a vest. That could work as like an entrance vest, but that is what you get. And then you also get gloves hands for her entrance so kind of like Chris Jericho you know you get the interchangeable hands there kind of mic holding and then out of the packaging she has one hand that matches this side and then on this side it's sort of like a slapping slash I, I'd say this is more of like a relaxed hand so that does it for Britt Baker's accessories so diving into Britt Baker man starting out at the head sculpt I like this head sculpt I, I like it a lot I will say I feel like it would add to the likeness if we added a little bit more like eye makeup I feel like she wears a little bit more eye makeup maybe not you know on this specific episode in September of 2020 of Dynamite but on the back of the packaging, she has like some pink makeup, like highlights going around her eyes and like underneath and stuff like that. Maybe that would add to the likeness, but I still like it and think it favors her a lot. So I like it. I, you know, I don't have a problem with the head sculpt or anything. I like the hair being molded down and everything as well. I think it, it has the likeness. She kind of looks like my cousin as well. So that's got, yeah, cousin Britt Baker right there. You got the black top there with the silver. You get that BB Britt Baker medical logo right there, which looks good. I feel like every women's wrestler in the world wears this like kind of two-piece combination in different colorways. 
and logos. You get the double jointed arms, which are delicious. Going around, she doesn't have like the same, like I've noticed this about the women's figures. They don't give them the rubber lower piece for the ab crunch, so I'm not sure why that is. But it's not like Lucy Goosery or anything. Like the ab crunch is kind of, it's not like non-existent. She can lean back a little bit. We'll do a, we'll do an articulation standpoint so you guys can see it, but you got the black bottoms there. Uh, sort of like a, a good pattern going around the butt there. BB logo over there and then BB logo over there. I will say the thighs look a bit flat. They're kind of, I don't know, it's like they don't have any sculpt to them at all or musculature, so they kind of just look a little bit odd. Not terrible, but it just kind of stands out to me a little bit. Covering the knees, you do get the black knee sleeves there with the sort of like silver moon boots that I really like, and you get the teeth logos on there. These boots are really sick. I feel like my ankle may be a little bit loose, but not too bad, but I, I love the way the boots look. They just kind of look like NASA or, or just moon booty kind of. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to see what she looks like articulation wise, her head can move, you know, all the way around, but it can't look up and down much because of the hair piece, of course. Ab crunch isn't ideal. Like, that's about all you can get unless you, like, bend over. You do get diaphragm pivot right here, which is really nice. I think that's very sick. Like, it, you guys can hear it. She can lean back pretty far as well. This goes all the way up. She does have the double jointed arm, so it goes all the way in. You know, she can hit herself in the face, all those different things. You do get the full rotation here. She is on ball joints, so she can do a pretty good split C. You get the upper thigh cut. She can kick forward pretty good. Not very far back because of the butt cheek flap there. Double jointed knees, which is just excellent. She can literally kick her spinal cord from the back. Very good double jointed knee, which is always beautiful. You get boot rotation, you get ankles up and down, and you get ankle pivot. I was really worried these were going to be like basic-y boots, but they're not. They actually have a pretty good uh, amount of articulation there, and the figure can stand pretty good, so that's always appreciated. So, Dr. Britt Baker, uh, she's got, uh, that's a pretty nice first figure, man. And then for your Dr. Britt Baker figure comparisons, guys, here's the unmatched Britt Baker up next to the Unrivaled Collection Series 6 Sheeta and the Series 3 Riho. And overall, I like the Britt Baker better than both of these. I think they, it just, it just works better for me. She can stand a little bit better, and she has lower leg rotation in some form. So yeah, Britt Baker does take the cake there, but these two figures aren't bad at all, but I, I am liking that we're getting a little women's collection coming together here. I know we still have Brandy, but uh, I meant for like in-ring talent, you know, wrestling over the championship on a consistent basis. Here's your comparisons. And then for your other figure comparison, guys, here is Dr. Britt Baker's husband, Adam Cole, baby. So there you go. If you want your couple right there, you want to run her around in your Undisputed Era or your pick feds there, they scale pretty well. I think they go together nice. So there's Adam Cole and Britt Baker, which is very, very nice. I'm very happy to have Britt Baker in the collection. So for Miro's accessories, guys, you get interchangeable hands and an AEW microphone. Now, these are the interchangeable hands right here, kind of like relaxed slash mic holding hands. And if you compare them to his uh, his out of the packaging hands, it's slightly different. So I guess that this is like a grappling hand. And then this is the mic holding hand right here, because the mic will go in this hand much easier or not much easier, but you know, that kind of it conforms to the mic itself. So there is that. And then on the right side, he has a or le on the left side, he has a mic holding hand as well. So it's kind of like he gets mic holding hands and then he gets like these relaxed slash grappling hands. But then he also comes with the microphone that we've seen multiple times before. AEW logo on there. It looks good. It's got a good sculpt to it. I think it's came with Miro now, MJF. I think Chris Jericho even had a microphone. I think both MJFs actually came with a mic. But yeah, there's your AEW microphone and your interchangeable hands. Not a ton of stuff going on with it, but uh, at least we got some interchangeable hands with this guy. But if you guys wanted to see what like, see, this is the grappling hand, and he can still hold the mic, so there's that, and then if you wanted to see what it looks like out of the packaging here, so there you go. So it can fit in both. I'd actually I'm, I'd actually argue that it fits better in the non-mic holding hand, so that's a little bit weird, Brad. Well, I guess this could be a weapon-wielding hand as well, so yeah, I mean, you could use it to hold the broom and other weapons that we've gotten, so maybe that's what the case is. So diving into Miro, man, starting out at the head sculpt at first, I wasn't really a fan of this head sculpt, but I think the likeness is there. I mean, could it use, like, maybe a little bit more paint on the eyebrows or the eyes or something maybe like maybe uh i like the vein going on right there i like the blonde hair and everything like everything like that kind of wish he wasn't yelling but i like the sculpt and everything like that he does get some pretty good head articulation because it is on a ball hinge so you know he's get some he gets get some pretty good stuff going on right there going down into the chest i will say i wish this had some chest hair on it maybe i can add some i don't like even just a little bit you know not like a ton or anything just some some slight chest hair would have done wonders for this figure i think you do get his tattoo over here that's a bit faded, which is probably more accurate to be honest with you. He's got very long arms and massive shoulders compared to the rest of his body, which you guys will pretty you know, you'll notice it more when we get into the WWE Elite of the Rusev Elite Series 65. I really like this gear that we got with the camo and the Miro, and you got the best man going across there. You get the US flag. Nice camo going on the back. Got his back tattoo, which is really cool right here. I like this torso choice, and it, it feels really good in the hand. Like, the figure feels fantastic in the hand, which is a very good bonus. You do get the upper thigh cut 
cut, which is nice. You got the Bulgarian flag right here. Double jointed knees. Got the black kick pads here. And one thing that is special, super awesome, is Magic actually added some lower kick pad rotation right here. So huge shout out to my man Magic for giving us boot rotation here. Hopefully that will continue with every figure. But overall, man, if you just zoom out and look at this figure, I think a lot of people are probably just going to have a problem with some of the proportions. But the figure feels really good in hand, man. Like, I, it's hard to describe. Like, he may not be the most attractive figure, but if you were to pose this guy around and do like a fed with him, I think he'd have a lot of fun. Like, he really does feel good in the hand. Like, he doesn't feel loose. He feels really solid. And, and like, I really want to pose him around. Very much like the Elite 65 Rusev figure. And if we bring him in here for a comparison, you guys will just kind of see what I'm talking about. I just feel like the arms are slightly out of scale. And, like, um, I don't know. I just think the, the Mattel proportions are better, but the articulation is better over here. And I think this head sculpt has more likeness to Rusev than this does. However, uh, I think his arms are a bit long here. And uh, it's just, it's kind of an odd looking figure because of the proportions. However, again, man, it just feels super nice in the hand. Like, this figure feels super nice in the hand as well, no doubt. But I think articulation, the Miro, would uh, beat up on the Rusev. But which one do you like more, guys? Overall, which one would you rather have? They're both really sick. And this didn't come from Mattel with the Happy Rusev Day. I, I added that custom shirt. But I love both figures nonetheless. And I, I, I've always loved Rusev and Miro as characters. Now, if you guys wanted to see a little more of his articulation, he can look down that far and he can look up that far before his head pops off. You get a really deep ab crunch, which is really nice. I really like the way that is. And that's not even bending over. So if you wanted to bend over, there you go. But if you're standing straight up and you just bent the ab crunch, it gets a really good crunch in there. You do get some diaphragm pivoting there. You do get the uh, upper 90 degree there. You get the double jointed arms so he can do all those great things. You get the full rotation there. Bicep swivel. You do get the hinge at the wrist and the rotation. His waist can swivel around just a little bit there. He is on ball joints, but he can't do a massive split, but his leg articulation does feel good. He gets upper thigh cut. He does have a really good double jointed knee. Again, like we covered, he has the boot rotation. He has the up and down there, and he has ankle pivot. So again, man, really nice articulation on this figure. It doesn't feel loosey-goosey either. He can still stand up and kick my ass. So those are all great things. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one unmatched series. One review on Miro and Dr. Britt Baker. Had a ton of fun reviewing these guys, man. Really impressed with both. I like them both. I will say Miro again. My biggest issues with both of the figures, actually just the Miro in particular, is going to be just some of that proportion control. I just feel like the arms are a little bit long and maybe just his formula overall may look a bit wacky and funky, but the figure again feels really good in the hand. So it's not like it's super duper loose and has all these like bad problems on top of it. It's literally just a little bit of proportions. I don't know if they'll fix that in the next one or not. I just feel like the arms need to be shorter or something is the main issue and maybe his legs a little longer. And the Dr. Britt Baker figure is really nice. I really enjoy it. I think it's the best women's figure they've made to date and I'm really, I, I'm willing to fight for that one. So I would recommend both no doubt about it. Adding Miro to the collection man. His first official AEW figure. It's cool to see him in not only Mattel WWE form but Jazzwares AEW figure Form. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out again. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Would really, really appreciate it. Every time you guys use the code, you are supporting the channel. So I really appreciate that. But a huge shout out to Undrifted Pop, who says, Are you going to use the AEW official figures in the Fed or are customs or are the customs more in scale? The AEW figures are perfect scale, and we've I want to say we've already used some of them. We used them on the episode of Vindication, episode 16. I think we used a pretty good amount of them in that in that episode right like we didn't get to see him in the ring i don't think but we did get to see him get posted around and on the new episode of vindication coming soon you will see a lot of them so even though the bucks and cody aren't even on the show because they were literally assaulted in the last episode but anybody that's on the show that it, that has an aew figure will be an aew figure form so there you go but a huge shout out to undrifted pop for that guys huge shout out to aew for these awesome figures man i hope you guys enjoyed the review go grab them using code md toys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and TikTok at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the the freaking I, I don't I don't know who crossed the line here today, Brad. Probably the I, I don't know me. You crossed the line.